And we're live! Back again with the Throne of Champions this time. Starting a little bit earlier than regular scheduled timing because I messed up the timing because I was scheduling for like legitimately 12 different people at the same time. So we're starting a bit earlier on this one. Hopefully others will be on later to play as well because Cruiser needs to go in about an hour from now. So here we are. So Marco up against Cruiser, top left, Marco and bottom right, Cruiser. We're going to rock on Arabian Oasis here. Standard build from both players, no shenanigans here. I actually saw a couple players actually building up towards here, and I started doing that as well. <laughs> I found that to be pretty useful, actually. Pretty useful, hold on. Yep, so drones out for both players and no double drone actually from any of them. I don't think any of them are pretty not scummy, but pretty pretty known to go for double drone unless you're a lot of or legend. But just the first difference they were saying here. Marco building his first wall factory right at the back. Cruiser building his right up front. So that probably tells me that he's gonna move his MCV because they're moving the base walking forward there will be a lot slower now as drone turns around Marco turns around with impeccable timing there but still to no bill still get droned still gets droned and cruisers one I don't think any of them are droned yeah they're all safe I apologize if I sound a bit nasally here. Typical under the weather bullshit. The second wall from Marco. Oh, the drone is still alive, I see. So you got three, four, five, six, four cruiser, four, five, six, seven for Marco. Seven is coming up now for Marco, but cruiser is already on the move here. He is looking to make those plays down in mid. Marco of the first Rhino out already. And there you go, Cruiser with the seventh. Marco of a third war factory. Now the drone just goes into the first Rhino there. So one, two war factories to three. Although Cruiser does have the Rhino advantage at the moment. It's a little bit hard for him to push, push forward there. Knowing that you're playing up against fucking Marco of all players. So Cruiser almost done long distance mining those gems. And he's going for a split here on the top. And so Marco sees that instantly. And goes to prime the top war factory. Just two rhinos. So he can defend it with a sentry gun and one rhino with good control. And the fight in mid there actually not working well for Cruiser. Cruiser already up on third war. He needs to prime that forward war factory. So he can just get his units a little bit closer to the battlefield. Cruiser opting for the wholehearted split down on the top here, but it seems to be very passive at the moment. Cruiser wanting to make a difference or wanting to make a push here. Seems to be wanting to <laughs> sort of punch a hole somewhere, but he gets pushed back every single time. I don't know whether it's uh, hesitant, whether he's just really hesitant or scared. I don't think he's scared at all, but maybe just a little bit too cautious here. He, keep go he keeps going back and forth here. Every time going split, no split, split, no split. But the one thing he is doing though is he's keeping Marco at bay here. Which is something that's not really... Not really anyone can say actually. So the split down the bottom here going all in. Three on three with a sentry gun. So Marco wins that fight immediately. There's no control at all. And there you go Marco finally moving his MCV down to his bottom left. Cruiser already moving to his last... Gold pass, so he will probably be moving his MCV towards a secondary level. No drone here to hide anywhere. So classic SVS tank fighter. 
pretty boring but pretty good. Oh, uh, it's not TT, it's Zero My bad. Alright, cool. Thank you very much. Ooh, they, this is this is a situation where Marco's really good at. He's good at hiding behind stuff. And because of the lack of control for his father, now he's gonna go in all the way in with the lack of. Oh dear. Having a lesser ride when I was there, he just goes in and suicides into that choke point. And Marco easily, easily cleans up there. So 1 0 to Marco currently. Score was wrong. My bad, I forgot to update it. Yeah, just that the R2 ladder map is broken for some people. Like Luke uh, couldn't use him. So we're onto here, but uh, we are working now. It is working now. Divide freeze is over with proper P cap. Yeah, P cap. So Luke is Luke. <laughs> Cruz is gonna go allied here. I wonder what his allied play is. I haven't seen him too much of ally. I just know that in Yuri's Revenge. Uh, back. When we had the other Throne of Champions, he was a... Uh, was it a Throne of Champions or some... I believe he was a TOC. Matt was streaming it when he was playing with uh, someone else. And then Frank was commentating as well. And then he went apeshit on Cruiser's control there. So classic Mako starting on top right. He is going to go for a corner rush down on bottom right. Primarily to... Uh, deny the scouts. So he doesn't see the corner rush. That's a lot of corners for a rush right there. Rakuza is already scouting towards the right side, so when he hears unit lost, he is going to notice it right away. And Marco's first ref actually going on top left as well. There you go, unit lost. So Marco's going to have to be careful now because the pre-cap will be... The pre cap rush will be noticed immediately and Rakuza perfect, perfect building of the walls here. Going for pillboxes might not be a best the best play, so he's gonna follow up with a rhino here and then go miners behind of that, or he's gonna go straight up. I think he went one miner and then went for straight up rhino says So he's gonna wait for the rhino to kill the walls and then go in with the connies. Meanwhile, crew just gonna rush up to the top left now. So if you don't scout immediately down on bottom right here, it's pretty much a loss for your oil because it's really really hard to counter this ah <laughs> let's you rebuild the wall because <laughs> any pillboxes that you put down will be destroyed by the connies Marco opting to save his stuff now but on top left three sentry guns are taking out all of the grizzlies ah yikes 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 that's a big ouch so Marco saves his oil and the gold around it while Cruiser lost all of his bottom right oil and ore. Immediately on the back of that, Marco on three, two ore factories now on five minus. The rock is coming in here as well. One single flag to deal with a small commitment of rocketeers. Marco's already ready to go in here. Look at a tank control from immediately forming up in a straight ball. Cruiser can't win there, Grizzly, surely, even with the best tank control in the world. The flag does go down, but in comes the constraints now, immediately going for the AFC and Cruiser said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> and it's still no to Marco. So is this going to be a straight 3-0 for Marco here? It currently is on the way for it. <laughs> that fucking amazing play with Marco on Divide Freeze. How do you stop it? How do you stop it? You stop it by scouting and knowing your player. Marco always does that on Divide Freeze. I think Cruiser kind of either forgot about that or just the, the scout, the lack of scout there. Especially on the bottom right side. I think immediately when you see that happening, you want to go AFC and Rocky straight away. But that rush is pretty hard to stop, especially as allied. That is why Marco built his first refinery on the stretch there. On his expansion, I mean. So he built immediately on top left, that way he can... Go for the sentry guns down on top left to defend against the three grizzlies. Cruiser sent like three or four grizzlies down the top left and all of them lost to three sentry guns. 
I think mainly because Grizzly wasn't microing. But still, it's it's pretty nuts. Very, very, very nuts. So Grizzly's gonna start on top right. Marco's gonna start on bottom left. And I think Gavin's of Siberia, Siberia is probably Marco's home ground here. He has a build locked down for every single fucking... Every single position that he's in. And look at that Marco already turning around there. Wanting to get that miner out of the way. The miner did have a dump there. <laughs> the micro on this guy. So one minor drone for Marco. And cruiser with a second drone after a miner. He does get droned as well. And then going for Rhino straight after that. So difference in build here, we're saying Marco typically builds uh Long distance mine these gems and immediately builds down or move his MCV after the first war factory. Then from there he can stay, he'll stay down here until he gets a refinery down on top level, which is when he'll move to the left. So Marco's gonna go with the second drone as well. Cruiser has the second drone ready. And look at this cruiser rushing in with three rhinos already. Marco on one. So he's getting the fodder out now, but the total number of rhinos in the field here is Marco with two rhinos and Cruiser with five. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, Cruiser on five minus here, Marco on six or seven, actually. So Marco went a little bit more rhino heavy or minor heavy. In second war as well. Hmm. There you go, there's the M3 moves, he's gonna escort with his rhinos as well. So with this sort of rhino number advantage here, I would, you would think that Cruiser will actually push in and cause some trouble for Marco to try and keep him down on the rhino count or use his numbers to his advantage, but quite, uh, quite immediately after, the rhino numbers are pretty even now. Well, with the reinforcements, Cruiser should be able to take this fight, but he's a little bit hesitant once again. Marco is minor coming out now on that middle field and it's just like that man he switches and now he has cruiser on the run now cruiser after building down the cliff here is gonna move to his top mid this Marco is so fucking fearless and plays everything to a T here He's, he has he has been playing QM for the past couple hours Marco moving his MCV to his bottom mid now. Just gotta hope that there's no drone here. He's not escorting the MCV as well. Let's see here, Marco's gonna take a position up this cliff. That's gonna block Cruiser from going to his level. So Cruiser hiding behind the sentry gun and Marco's gonna go in all the way straight in for the kill. He knows he has the superior rhino numbers. There is no sentry gun available for a cruiser. He's not gonna place any down. He plays a warfare train instead. MCV goes down. So no sentry gun and cruiser immediately calls GG. Oh boy. And it is gonna be a 3-0 for Marco here.